Hey guys, Clay Thor here. I'm not sure if I'm the only one who is so disappointed for not having a midweek war. I think this is the very first time since I started playing Empires and Puzzles that I'm not playing a war on Wednesday. So I'm pretty disappointed. And not only because we don't have a war, but because this was going to be the Cloverfield War. So what is the Cloverfield War? So I would like to play a quick video that shows the new mechanics for those of you who have not had a chance to see that in action. And then I'm going to ask you guys for something that I have not asked before. Since we're not going to be doing war hits, I'm going to share with you guys three types of heroes that I do believe are going to do really well. But I don't know everything. But I'm pretty sure there's a lot smarter people out there in the community. And I would love to hear your feedback. So if you don't mind watching this video and then leaving in the comments, what are the heroes by class or based on their specials do you think will do the best in the Cloverfield war type? All right. So sit back, relax. Let me play this uh, quick clip for you guys. And then we'll come back to talk about the best heroes that I think will perform better on this new war type. So what are some of the heroes that I believe will fare well on uh, this type of war? I will give you some answers right now, my friends. So let's come to my hero, my roster here. And uh, let me showcase basically three types of heroes that I think will do extremely well. First of all, any hero that will inflict elemental defense down, such as custom parishes here. Uh, he will hit the, the target nearby for 355%. And then the target nearby enemies get minus 68% defense against ice for four turns. So his first hit, he will just inflict 355% damage. His second hit, however, will get the benefit of minus 68% defense or elemental defense down. I don't know if you noticed on the video, and I, I did try to highlight uh, Perseus' uh, double hit. The first time he hit, he inflicted about 660 damage. 
The second time was over a thousand. That is because of taking advantage of his elemental defense down. Same thing for Brim. Brimstone will hit all uh, heroes for 200% damage. And then he will inflict uh, minus 54% defense because of the fin, fin that he will place on the hero. So again, he's going to get a massive, massive increase in damage because of the elemental defense down. Then we have heroes like Hammerclank. Hammerclank actually does not do a, a defense down or elemental defense down, but he increases the amount of damage the enemy will receive. In this case, it's 30%. So he will hit the target for 400% damage, then 200% to all the other heroes. But then the second time he will hit, there will be a 30% increase on the damage that he will deal to uh, the enemy. We also have the growth uh, or wither heroes. So in this case, I'm just give, uh, giving you Dark Feather as an example. And then um, the last example here is a little bit similar to Hammerclank, but Chikao, uh, he basically will hit. And then it says right here, the enemy on the edges of the formation fall asleep and receive plus 60% increased damage while sleeping. So he's going to hit one, they're going to sleep, and then he's going to hit again, and, and he will inflict an additional 60% of damage uh, after his second hit. So heroes that will benefit the most from this type of war are heroes that will do elemental defense down, heroes that will do a defense down, heroes that will increase the damage, and heroes that will apply either growth or wither. Now, I'm sure there are a lot more heroes that will benefit from this war type. We haven't talked about healers, for instance. Will a boosted health healer be better suited for this type of war than a immediate one-time percentage-based healer? I don't know. It's yet to be seen. What about heroes such as Lemonwood, who hits and reduces the mana? What will happen when he hits again, if the mana was reduced far enough, would he continue hitting uh, one hero after another? Or basically the second time he hits, if he took away or if he reduced the, the mana low enough, basically he will stop the moment that he hits the target a second time. Then we have questions about heroes like Gestalt, who randomly selects his target. Will he select the exact same targets from the first uh, time that he goes off? Or will he select new targets when he fires a second time? I'm not sure. So what are your thoughts? What do you think are the heroes that are going to do really well on the Clover Field? So in a nutshell, the mechanic is pretty simple. You're going to cast your hero and he's going to hit the enemy twice. So based on the special, what kind of heroes will do best? If I am taking a counterattack hero, for instance, and I'll just use Zoogling, and I'm using Zoogling on my attacking uh, formation, or any counterattack hero for, uh, per se, it's easier for me to control and, and have the counterattack up because whenever the enemy fires against me, and if the enemy goes off twice, Chances are that uh, being double counterattacked will really kill the enemy. So I think counterattack heroes as part of your attacking formation can be a very good strategy when facing defensive formations with uh, either hit three or hit all heroes. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys today. I'm excited to actually try these new war types. It's just been a little bit too boring. The same, what, four or five? four or five type of war types. So adding those three uh, new ones, which will be the Cloverfield, the Ancient Times, which is the Insanity. And I will do another video to cover the Insanity. And then the Bloody Battle, which we are all very familiar with from the regular weekly tournaments. So please, please share with me and with the community, what type of heroes do you think are going to do best, are going to perform best within this new war type? 
All right. Talk to you guys soon. Thanks so much for watching and I will catch you in later.